I am hungry. Hungry hippo. And your breath stinks. No, it doesn't. Too. I'm hungry, and tonight we're going to eat pork belly burnt ends. So, you're going to have to have some pork belly, right? I start off with mine normally a whole piece, and then when I go to freeze it, I cut it down into slices like this. Um, so it's easier when I get ready to actually uh, make my burnt end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cube it into uh, one inch cubes, give or take. Some are bigger, some are smaller, it's okay. There's enough fat in this that you really can't screw it up. Alright, once you have your cubes, what I like to do is I like to put it into a pot or a bowl. I don't like to season the pork belly on the cutting board. I guess you really could if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I don't want to waste a whole lot of seasoning. Maybe before I start to cook, I like to get it sweet to begin with. I like a lot of sugar. I'll probably get diabetes later. Who knows? I guess that's about a cup or so. Who knows? You take your guess. This here, I call it the white meat uh, seasoning. Anything that's white, I put it on. And it tastes good. I'm just going to stir that up in there. Alright, here's the trick. Get yourself a warming rack, a piece of silicone for cooking, and use it. Another good trick is to find your biggest piece and try to line it up so it's closest to your probe port. And look at that. I think that's going to be my biggest piece. All right, so there you have it. That's how exactly how I'm going to put it in the smoker. Should be easy to take out the sauce later. All right, so this is the Rectech RT 2500 BFG, and uh, I have it set at 180. I'm actually smoking some chicken. That's going to be my lunch. Stick the piece, the probe, right into the meaty part. So let that sit. Alright, so 180 degrees, we'll let it sit like that for a couple hours. Alright YouTube, it's been about, I don't know, three and a half hours or so. Let's see what she looks like so far. Get in there and look at that. Look at that. Now a good burnt in. The actual burning is sugar, not the meat. The meat just has all its fat rendered. So we're going to sauce this really good, and I might do mine a little different than some, but it's going to work out. If I can get this tray out of there with these gloves on. Survey says, aha, survey says yes. Yeah. So I just put all of my pork into a colander. I'm going to pour the sauce right over top of them. Shake it up just a little bit. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to stick it right back in the grill. All right. All this sauce that just ran through that colander, I put right back in the bucket because here in a couple minutes, we're going to use that sauce as the second round and to let it set. All right. We'll be back uh, in a little bit. 
Alright YouTube, the caramelization process is definitely started. Look at that. Don't those just look lovely? Get them out of here. Put them in this little little pan, a little shallow. So we're just going to add a little bit of sauce. We're not going to cremate it in sauce. We're just going to make sure that everything has just a little bit of sauce on it. Everything already has a little bit of sauce on it. We're putting a little bit more. Why? Because diabetes. Alright. I'm not raising the temperature of the, the BFG anymore. I want the beans to cook. Uh, but what I don't want is all the drippings from everything I've cooked in the last week to catch on fire. So we're going to put these in the bullseye. The bullseye is set for about 425 degrees. What I'm looking for is caramelization of sugar. So when I buy any of these things, all the juices and fat pop in my mouth. We'll be back once that's done. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get in there. Oh my goodness. Would you just look at that? Oh, that's gonna be so good. Alright YouTube, we're gonna plate this up. We'll put a picture at the end. This is gonna be so good. Oh. Mmm. 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 Oh my god, good is good. Michael, is that good? Mm-hmm. It's the best food I've ever had. Oh my god. This is the best food in the world. <laughs>